I don't like 50 50. I don't do coffee dates. I don't care how much money I ever make. I still want my man to pay for everything. He should pick me up. He should drop me off. He should buy me Ubers. In exchange, he gets to not embarrass me and breathe my air. I think it's pretty fair. I think we're even Stevens. Otherwise, I don't need a man just to have a man. This is for me. For the guys who are mad though, cry about it. I have never encountered a woman who behaves like this in real life. I'm not in denial that they don't exist. They obviously do. I'm just actively making sure that they're not in my life at all. And I would implore and encourage all men to do the same because being single is better than settling in the wrong relationship. All the women that I engage with on a regular basis, none of them act like this. The women that I have in my life have set the benchmark for me for how I wish to see women. So if I encounter women that aren't like that, they're not going to be in my life. If these types of women solely dated men with microphones, alpha male podcast bros, we'd be sorted because they both want the same thing, a transactional shallow relationship. Because someone donated to me recently and left this passive aggressive message that they like my content at times despite my overwhelming bias, men bad, women perfect. Women aren't perfect. And I invite you to look through all of my content to find where I've said that they are. And have I said men are bad? Or am I just challenging and critiquing a certain demographic of men's toxic ideas on dating relationships and women? Is what I'm doing any different to the women creators out there that call out other women for their toxic behavior? Because I just know from firsthand experience how simple and easy it is to get sucked down this rabbit hole. And I don't want men to go down the same route that I did. So I guess I felt compelled to counteract it and offer a different perspective to just paint a bigger picture for men. I feel confident that their rhetoric will not help you have good relationships with women. I have the best relationships with women with how I carry myself now. I don't want you to simp for women, just like the alpha dudes don't want you to simp for women. And it is possible to do that by being a good upstanding man who treats women with kindness, respect, and courtesy, who's also not a pushover, able to stand up for himself, set boundaries, and be able to say no to people and not be a toxic fuckwit. And if you're engaging with a woman and you're observant and you notice any red flags or toxic traits come up that you don't like, disengage.